life as we know it, from us to a tree, from an elephant to a mushroom, have a starting point. The time when all of us were zero minutes old, we started out as a single unit of life, a unit which has a special name, a cell. And the cell, it kept on dividing as it grew up, formed more complicated structures like organs and systems and gave different, different life forms, the different shapes and sizes that we see today. Did you know that there are more nerve cells in your brain than stars in the Milky Way? And that if you consider the blood vessels, uh, which contain blood cells, and lay them end to end, they will cover 100,000 kilometers. That's a two-way trip for you around the Earth. You know, that's not all. If you take out the DNA, which is found in the nucleus of all the cells of your body, of one person's body, then it will stretch to the sun, not once, not twice, but 600 times. So to appreciate life as we know it, let's go very microscopic today. A different world visible to us with only special equipment like the microscope and a world that we did not even know that it existed before the 17th century. It opened a can of wonder and helped us understand what we all are made up of to the minutest details. So what we're going to do is discuss the most important unit of our body, the unit that makes us, makes you, makes me what we are, Tiny, tiny units coming together in perfect coordination, giving you the gift of life. And you cannot ignore it because it invades every millimeter of your body, has so many shapes and sizes. It's so versatile. It has 210 avatars looking so different, doing such important stuff in your body, but at the core, essentially the same. As I mentioned, this unit is so small, it cannot be seen with the naked eye, and the small thing has such a big impact on our life, it makes our life and our whole existence possible. The cell, it makes life mission possible. So, if you think this is not reason enough to learn more about the cell, you should know that we human beings, however higher up, the hierarchy of life that we are has spent the first half an hour of our existence being a single unit of a cell. Cells grow, differentiate, multiply, divide, give you a number of different specialized cells which then come together, give you tissues and organs and organ systems and then finally and finally put together wonderful organisms like you and me. Now, uh, an important question, you two may be thinking, how many of them are actually there in you? There are 75, 200 trillion, okay, not million, not billion, but trillion cells in your body. And if you think uh, that these cells are the smallest units of the body, you're actually wrong. All cells are made up of atoms. So I'll just give you a comparison. An adult human being, average weight 70 kgs, is made up of you know, 7 into 10 to the power of 27 atoms. You know, with the hydrogen atoms being the top runner, followed by oxygen. So, your body is uh, very active, tries to keep the cells in your body very, very fresh as long as they possibly can. So, every day, an adult body produces 300 billion new cells. Big number, right? Also, 300 million cells in the human body every minute die with 600,000 particles of skin, just skin, getting shed every hour. Even when they get too old and they die, there's a fancy name, it's apoptosis, that's the suicide of the cell. So now let's do one thing, let's dive into this amazing microscopic wonder. Let's see what makes it so special, let's understand how it looks, let's understand what it does, let's understand the structures and the functions of different, different cells.